Hey guys, today I have a review for you of the Fulcelin A01 Smart Portable 40 Amp EV Charger. As always, we'll take a look at everything up close and then test it out with my EV6, tracking charging information and temperatures. So let's go. Taking it out of the packaging here, it does come in a nice carrying case. And you can get it with dynamic load balancing and current transformers, which allows it to detect household power consumption and adjust the EV charging power. And if you have solar, it allows it to prioritize the solar power too. I won't be installing that today, but it is a nice feature to have. And this is a dual voltage charger. So it comes with a 240 volt NEMA 1450 connector and a 120 volt NEMA 520 connector. Looking at the NEMA 1450 connector here, it feels good quality and the cable itself is very thick, which is good. You can see it has 10 gauge wiring and is rated for 105 degrees Celsius. Here we have the 120 volt connector. It also feels good quality. Obviously the cable is much thinner since a lot less electricity goes through it, but it looks good. Here is the holster for the J1772 connector, and its design allows the cables to be hung on it as well. So it's kind of a nice all-in-one design there. And here we have the J1772 connector, and this feels really high quality. I like this a lot. It comes with a dust cap. All the connection points look good. And again, it feels really good to hold. I've tested a lot of EV chargers, and this J1772 connector feels really solid. The latch mechanism works well, and it's nice and strong. And it looks good. Now looking at the charging controller, it's a nice simple design with a small display. It does have its own mount too for when you're using it at home, which is good. I'll show you the information on the back here. It does have a few different certifications, including Energy Star, which means it is tested by a national testing laboratory for safety, so that's good. On the front, you can see there's a button for setting a time delay and a button for adjusting the amperage. And the charging connectors just plug into the top here. That is a nice solid fit. And it looks good. Now let's measure the cables. The charging cable itself is about 17 millimeters. And the cable to the NEMA 1450 plug, again, is nice and thick, coming in at 21 millimeters. Looking at the charging cable details, it has 9 gauge wiring and is rated for 105 degrees Celsius. And I'll go ahead and show you the specs in the manual for the EV charger here too, for anybody that's curious. It has a 22 foot cable, a nice wide operating temperature, comes with a NEMA 4 enclosure. There's lots of safety protections built in and it does have a two year warranty. Now let's go test it out. So I just plugged it in here and you can see on the display, it shows various details about the charger and tapping the A button adjusts the amperage from eight amps up to 40 amps. And then tapping the time icon allows you to set a delay to take advantage of time of use charging, for example.
Now let's get to the test. Plugging it into my EV6, it's a nice tight fit there. Again, I like this connector a lot. You can see here it shows it's charging at 38.9 amps, which is good. That's about what I'd expect. I'll go ahead and measure the cable temperatures. And getting in the car here, it shows 9.5 kilowatts, which is good. And the charge port temperature is 68 degrees. So we'll watch that and see how much it increases over the next hour. But yeah, everything is looking good so far. I'll go ahead and pull up the app for you guys too to show you how that works. You create an account and then give it the normal permissions that you'd expect. Then it connects and you can see various details here. You can adjust the amperage and scheduled charging. A few different options in here. When it's charging, you can see details about the charge, and you can also see charging history in the app. So nice and simple app, easy to use. And now we just hit one hour of charging. You can see we're still going at 38 and a half amps. Checking the cable and plug temperatures. It's a little warmer than before, but not much, so that's good. Getting in the car, it's still showing 9.4 kilowatts, which is good. And the charge port temperature is only 149 degrees, which is great. That's over 70 degrees below where the EV6 starts to slow charging speeds. So I'm very pleased. And for pricing, it is decent for what you get. They have a 32 amp version for $339 and the 40 amp version I'm testing is $429. And then if you use promo code TechJeff, you save $30. So for the 40 amp version, for example, that brings it to $399. And for a high quality dual voltage portable 40 amp EV charger, it's not bad at all. It's not as cheap as some I've seen, but honestly, the build quality feels really good and the unit performed really well in testing. So I do like it, but let me know what you guys think and let me know if you have any questions on the EV charger or anything at all. Don't forget to hit that like button and be sure to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.